haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and give me a follow on Facebook. Today, we're going to be reading Ruby Makes It Even by Lisa Hargradar. Let's get into it. Ruby! Millie squeezes my arm. We're here! At last, says Beth. We've been waiting all year for our school trip. Now, we're finally here. Rainforest Fun Park, I whisper. Our bus rumbles to a stop. Millie, Beth, and I pile out, along with everyone else from Langston Elementary. The teachers begin sorting us into groups. Oh no. My little brother Leroy lumbers towards me, swinging his arms like a trunk. Ruby, look, he says. I'm an elephant. Even worse, my bossy older sister, Joe, strides over. Ruby, be sure you... I know! I scurry off before she can finish. I don't need Joe's bossiness or Leroy's annoying jokes wrecking my day. I dodge them both and stick with my two best friends, Millie and Beth. The three of us troop into the park. I stop and stare up. And up. I've heard about it. I've seen ads. Now here it is, towering above us. Mongo scream, whispers Beth. As we watch, a raft loaded with rivers swoops onto the Congo River at the top of the Mongo Mountain. It hurdles over rapids, spins around whirlpools, and vanishes into a dark cavern. For a few tense moments, shrieks and squeals echo from inside. I hold my breath. The raft shoots out the other side. It hangs in the air, then plummets down Mongo Waterfall and splashes into the lake below. It looks fun. It looks thrilling. I go. It looks scary. Let's go. Millie sets off for Mongo Squeak. No, I cry before I can stop myself. I mean, Locomotive Jungle is right here. Let's ride it first. Millie stops. We've been waiting to ride Mongo Scream all year. That was before I'd actually seen it. Let's vote, I say. Who wants to ride Locomotive Jungle? I quickly raise my hand. Millie crosses her arms over her chest. We turn to Beth. Slowly, she raises her hand. Let's save the best Mongo Scream for last. Good news. I have the whole day to work up my courage. Bad news. I have the whole day to worry about Mongo Scream. We scramble aboard Locomotive Jungle. Beth finds a bench up front. Millie slides in behind her. They try to sneak closer, but there isn't any more room. I crawl onto the bench behind them. I tell myself it's great to have a seat back to myself. But it's no fun being the odd kid out. Because three is an odd number. After Locomotive Jungle, we vote to ride the Python. This time, I sit beside Beth. Millie sits behind us, by herself. It's no fun seeing your friends left out either. Good news, we keep voting and writing. Bad news, all the rides are made for even numbers. We take turns pairing up, but someone always has to ride alone. Plus, everywhere we go, Mongo Scream looms overhead. We're about to vote again when I spot Leroy with his friends Carlos and Jamal. They're carrying armloads of snacks and snapping their jaws like crocodiles. Before Leroy can see me, I pull Millie and Beth into the Treehouse Arcade and run smack into Rob, a kid from my reading group. Where's your group? Millie asks. Rob shrugs. Our group had three, but the rides are for even numbers. I was nodded out. But now you're by yourself, said Beth. You're really odd, kid out. Suddenly, I got a brilliant idea. You're an odd number one, I tell Rob. We're an odd number three. But an odd plus an odd makes an even. Rob's eyes grow wide. And an even four means nobody's left out. Because four is an even number. 
four of us set off. We ride the jungle jalapies, swinging vine, and parrot lunge. The seats are four cross, so no one has to ride alone. Mongo screams so looms overhead, but I'm having such a great time that it doesn't seem as scary. In fact, I'm looking forward to it. Come to think of it, I can hardly wait. All because of its even number. That settles it, I say. Evens are way better than odds. What should we ride next? says Rob. I vote Crocodile Canoe, says Beth. Me too, I say. I vote Amazon Zing, says Millie. Rob nods. It has a shorter line. We look at each other. An even number is great. Until you can't break a tie. We're trying to decide what to do when Leroy and his friends trudge up. They look a little green. We've been searching for you everywhere, moans Leroy. We don't feel so good, says Carlos. We ate a lot of snacks, says Jamal. Leroy can be annoying. Leroy makes awful jokes. But Leroy is my little brother. I have to take care of him, I say. Millie, Beth, and Rob agree. They wrote for Leroy and his friends to join our group. Good news. And even plus an odd makes an odd. Now we have seven. We can break our tie. Bad news. Leroy, Carlos, and Jamal are too sick to write anything fun. We end up on the lazy slot, a boat that drifts around the lake below Mongo Scream. When the ride ends, I help Leroy and his friends off and run straight into Joe. She's with her friends Claire and Heather. Our teacher said we have time for one more ride before we load the buses, Joe tells us. Mongo Scream! shout Millie, Rob, and Beth. Leroy, Carlos, and Jamal moan. I sigh. Go on without me. I'll get these guys to the bus. Joe frowns. And let your friends ride without you? You'll miss the best part ride in the park. Joy gives me more a stern look. But I know you feel sick, he says. But you need to start feeling better. You don't want to keep the bus off the Mongo stream. I blink. Us? Yes, us, says Joe. Claire, Heather, and I saved Mongo's game for last. I won't go if you're stuck here. You're my little sister. I have to look out for you. So Joe and her friends join our group. They're odd, they're an odd, and we're an odd, so we're even again. Because 10 is an even number. The hike up Mongo Mountain is just what Leora and his friends need. Or maybe Joe's stern look does the trick. Either way, they're less green by the time we reach the top. We scramble aboard our raft. It seats an even number, 10, which happens to be exactly the same number as our group. We strap in, and the raft swoops into the Congo River. We hurtle over rapids, spin around whirlpools, and plunge into a dark cavern. We shriek and squeal. Then we shoot out the other side. The raft hangs in the air for a moment before we plummet down the Mongo waterfall and splash into the pool below. Good news, it's fun, it's thrilling. Better news, it's scary, but that just makes it more fun. Best news, nobody has to be the odd kid out. Hello again, just popping in to remind you that even numbers like 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 come in pairs, while odd numbers like 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 do not. Every single item, tick, or in this case sock, in an even number is in a pair, with none left out. But with odd numbers, there is always a sock left out. For example, with number 5, we see two pairs, but there is one sock that doesn't have one. What did we learn today? Well, 
We learned that an even number is a number that comes in pairs and ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. We also learned that an odd number doesn't come in pairs and ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. And finally, when dealing with a multi-digit number, we also always look at the last digit to determine if the number is odd or even. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!